Hey everybody, on a previous video I showed you how to clear your cached website data for specific websites, primarily the quiltshow.com and quiltshowmedia.com. Well, on today's video, what I'd like to show you is how just to clear your history and your website data for the whole device, your iPad and your iPhone. Why would you want to do that? Oh my gosh, it's going to make your device just work so much more efficiently. Uh, that's especially true if you like to play in our forum. Now, there is one little caveat. If you do that and you use a number of different websites where it automatically fills in your password and your username, it will probably erase that data, but hopefully you know it and you have it written down. So, the only reason you would not want to do that is if you don't know what those are. With all websites, they have a forgot password or forgot username. You can certainly recall it that way. Um, but I do strongly recommend that you do this periodically on either device or both devices. So how do we do that? All right, we're going to go into settings. Just like on the previous video, we want to look for Safari. We're going to come down here. We're going to find Safari. Now that Safari has opened, we're going to come down here and we're going to look for clear history and website data. What is that clearing? See it right in the center of the screen, the, the blue text. Let me put it even with the Safari icon on the left. We're going to clear all of your web history and all of your website data for, for Safari. Bye-bye. It's going to go bye-bye. So all we do is just hit clear website data and history. It's going to prompt you. Prompt you. Clearing will remove history, cookies, and other browsing data. And we're just going to say, yep, clear, bye-bye, it's gone. Now, this is going to make your device run a lot more efficiently. The Another caveat to that, if you're running an older um, operating system, let me see if I can find that for you. Uh, let's go about. I am running software version 14.6. See the second line there? If you're running something in the 10 series, this may not help you. Uh, all manufacturers quit maintaining older versions, and it might be a problem for you uh, on our website if you're using an older version. Hopefully you're not. Hopefully you've up upgraded, updated uh, since then. Um, but if not, and you're using a, a later model, and you're having problems, clear your website data and history, and you should do much better. Okay, thanks.